So let's go to the third part now of the presentation to sort of wrap all this uh, together. Uh, we'll look at three clinical cases to demonstrate um, the principles for immediate, early, and late placement. The image of on your left is a, a maxillary lateral incisor uh, that has insufficient coronal tooth structure to reliably replace the crown. So the crown is separated from the root. The case in the middle is of, a, of an upper or maxillary canine, which was transplanted from the palate. Uh, and uh, in fact, it was done on both sides. So this is the, the left side. And uh, it's undergoing now external root resorption. And of course, you can see the soft tissue uh, issues with this uh, canine tooth. And then the case on the right is a case of a bigeminated central incisor. Uh, that after deciding on various treatment options, um, including uh, retaining the tooth, reshaping the tooth, uh, and so on, ultimately it was decided that the, the better option may be to extract the tooth to allow orthodontic treatment to be completed and then to place a dental implant. All right, so these are the three cases that I, I, I've picked to demonstrate the principles of immediate, early, and late placement.